In this video, we'll be solving a variation word problem in three variables. Reds vary directly as blue squared and inversely as greens. When there were 80 reds, there were four blues and two greens. How many reds were there when there were eight blues and 10 greens? Now I'm going to use R for reds and B for blues and G for greens. And the thing to remember when you're doing variation problems is direct variation, or when it says vary directly, you will multiply. And when it says inverse variation, or varied inversely, you'll be dividing. And always remember your um, constant of variation which I'll let that be K. So let's translate here. We have reds, so I'll write R, vary directly, so equals our constant K times blue squared, so blues squared, and inversely, so now divided by greens. So this is the equation that I'm going to work with. My next sentence uh, gives me some values that I can plug into this equation so that I can find the value of k. It says when there were 80 reds, so 80 is going to be substituting for r. I don't know K yet, so I leave it K. There were four blues, so I'll have four squared. And two greens. Now my equation only has this one variable, so I can solve it for K. And let's multiply both sides by two to get this two off of here. So I have 160 on the left side equals k times 4 squared is 16. Divide both sides by 16 and k is equal to 10. Now once I have the value for k, I can put that into my original equation. So this becomes r equals, and then in place of k, I'll put 10 times b squared divided by g. All right, my last sentence in the problem says, how many reds were there? So I don't know r, I'm going to leave it as a variable. When there were 8 blues, so I have 10 times 8 squared, divided by, and there were 10 greens, so 10. Well, that's convenient. I can just, 10 over 10 is 1, so cancel those off. So my number of reds is 8 squared, which is 64. 